Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Scorpion Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. I want to say thank you for being here, thank you for being back. This is the month of April 2019, and the month of April has to do with um, karmatic situation, karmatic justice, and uh, I want to say to you guys, two first weeks is going to be fire, two last week is going to be here. Okay, guys, hold on tight, because you're about to have a ride so you scorpions let's see what's happening we have four weeks in this month please like share these videos um, for the extended reading use the link below the extended reading they just cost a dollar 99 it's your link it's your video to do what you want to do um, the extended reading is when we look at the overall the general and the love um, money reading and uh, um, we look at everything that is coming up in the four weeks. Okay, so we have the energy of uh, um, uh, if you're in higher position, it can be an uh, authority figure that you're dealing with in this week, especially in the first week. But it could be um, management, it could be you trying to build your financial stability, it could be a father figure that is an Aries Leo or a Sagittarius. So be aware of the situation, what is happening. But it has something to do with work, okay? Energy of the tower is here. Whatever the situation is, it could be an ending to your boss or someone in power, and you're seeing the truth of a situation, what has happened and what has taken place, and you are going to be coming out of this very, 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 very positive, okay? So obviously, some of you could be dealing with people in power someone who has or used their power in the wrong way or um it could be that um now you're seeing the truth to, to a situation whatever the has transpired now the truth is coming out and it is being released from your life you're coming out of the month in a very positive way you're coming out of the month um using your intellect and going within and finding all that you can use okay there is a situation as some of you are dealing with the people either in power boss or um just you as a business person it could be a situation that is leaving your life in the second week so we are going to be looking at that so you call it up to the angels and guides for the scorpion to see what is happening with the scorpions in the first week going in the second week in the first week going in the second week you're going to be receiving message um, from um, a boss or people in power okay um, the energy of the tower is here a second week going in the third week you're going to be very very successful very successful with a situation extremely successful with a situation so whatever that was happening or whatever that is transpiring um, with people in power or your boss or someone that has done something injustice you're going to be extremely successful because you're going to be seeing the truth of a situation the third week going in the fourth week you have a situation with the materialistic and also the nurturing so you could be the person who is being nurtured or there could be a nurturing situation that is coming in now what has happened and what has transpired the energy but the nine of pentacles is here and it fell out in the reverse now whatever the situation is for someone why this energy has fell out in the reverse it has to do with a situation where there is going to be information coming out about money so let's check out your reading because you have a month where whatever the karmatic situation it has to do with a woman so you're going to be very successful with a situation with a woman um this woman could be removed out of your life once and for all and this person is an aries Leo or sagittarius okay um success is going to be coming in it could be success coming from this person or it could be you but whoever this person is and the situation you're going to be seeing the truth and this person is going to be removed um, out of your life the wheel of fortune comes so um, this is good because um, success with the wheel of fortune is really 
especially success with your material world and the wheel of fortune let's see what is the outcome of this month you have the energy of uh, um, the knight of swords so whatever the situation is is it's as if um, some of some situation at play and um, the situation is that you saw the truth of the situation okay success is definitely and positive new energies is going to be coming in if you're dealing with a um, a mother that is a, a Capricorn but she's going to be very very successful okay so um, it's as if she is the one that is going to be getting you out of a situation so if your mom is a is a Capricorn this lady has used everything that she has and she has gotten you out of a situation and this is going to be happening in the last week in the first week you could be getting receiving some message from your boss and this person is a um aries leo or sagittarius it could also be someone in power um it could be a lawyer or that sort of a thing whoever this person is they're coming at you harsh with some you know really screaming at you whatever whatever but um, whoever this person is is coming back to a past lifetime where you are releasing um, karmas because you're working out karmas with this person your month is as if a karmatic situation is now finally over okay it's as if some of you were dealing with a karmatic situation and now it is finally over a lot of people are not happy but that's their problem okay um some of you are going to be finding out uh, some situation is going to be leaving your life but whatever is leaving um it is is, is going to be re, um, presented with uh, something much better okay so um let's see the energy of uh, um the power whoever has used their powers okay your intuition is right about a situation you have been having uh, your intuition about something at your work or about something about your boss your right and target some of you are uh, really having some in in intuition about someone at your work and your boss intuition is right and target right on target love is going to be coming in love is come going to be coming in and, and this love is going to be powerful it's definitely going to be powerful and it's good it's, 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 it's a love that is coming from a past life okay and it could be coming from a capricorn a situation between you and a capricorn is going to be healed this could be a mother child situation that has been transpired it's going to be ill because you're going to be realizing how much this person loves you okay um some of you this lady could you could reconnect with this lady it's a past life situation where um you realize that this person is as if i've known this person from a past life and it's the universe send this person back to you and this person have true love this love that this person has is coming from a good place the heart and the energy of the sun whatever has transpired between you and this person there's an healing that is going to be coming in that is um you know like on, you're not even going to be realizing what this healing is all about it's, it's something that it's just going to come up unexpected you're going to have a strong foundation over someone some of you are dealing this could be um, a woman that was an ex lover or ex partner or a mother or a father but you have strong foundation over a situation and this could have to do with your house that you have very very strong foundation um, at your business or your home and there is power you are going to be really 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 um, standing up especially you ladies you ladies especially who are managers and that sort of a thing you are really going to be saying it as it is but whoever the Taurus Virgo or Capricorn person is she she has your back 
it says if um, whatever you guys have shared in lifetime and lifetime past lifetimes she came back to bring stability in your world again and the stability is coming but she she's she has the power to bring down anything and to make any changes it's very powerful reading um so it's going to affect people who their parents are taurus or uh, capricorn um and this lady is going to make sure that you receive a new start whoever this lady is she's going to make sure that you receive a new start so it is about healing the past okay it is about healing the past and it's the, the abundance is coming up for some of you and this is going to be coming in the last week so abundance is definitely coming up for some of you and it's going to be coming up in the last week now this abundance is a karmatic situation from a past lifetime and it has to do with a home unexpectedly you're going to be receiving a home and this is going to bring you um, strong stability and foundation in your life the energy of the bear is here and the bear energy is that you're going to be standing in your own power and this is going to be good you're going to be standing in your own power and it's as if this lady came back to help you to stand in your own power and this is going to be good because this lady is watching over you Whoever this lady is, she is powerful and she's definitely watching over you. She is um, um, holding back whatever blocks and forces that is coming at you and she is keeping you um, and protecting you. So it's wonderful. It's all about healing past relationship and this love is going to be coming back. And it's all about the past and it's all about the emotion and it's all about healing the emotion and it's going to be good. Let's see what cards are coming up for you guys. We have two cards, and we're using the energy of uh, um, the animal energy in this month. And we have two cards cards one and card two. Now, I'm going to put on my glasses to see what is happening. So, in card one, we have. Uh, the rhino spirit and it says overcome any obstacles number five so changes is going to be coming in and some of you have been dealing with a lot of obstacles in your life and this obstacles you're going to be overcoming so the rhino you're going to be taking on the rhino energy and you're going to be overcoming all the obstacles that you have had to deal with the second card is um, number 55 51 so it's six, so it's all about the lovers, and it is uh, the sand, um, the sandpiper spirit, and it said, be playful. It's a sandpiper spirit, it says, be faithful. And this is going to be wonderful because whatever is coming up or whatever is transpiring, you're going to be playful about whatever is happening in your life. And this is going to be good because you're going to be returning. And the energy of six is all about love and you have another six here which is all about love number 24 and the heart success happiness joy that is definitely going to be coming back in your life and, and the person who is bringing this back it is a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn lady she is definitely going to be bringing this back in your life so this could have been this is definitely a past situation I'm seeing a situation with a house and the wheel of fortune and a house your work and real work situation or your house happiness stability is going to be coming back for you so time came up it came up so a lot of people are dealing with their soul time it's the activation of the soul time so look at this card and try and activate your soul time because what this is going to be doing it's going to be re-energizing and healing and removing all emotional blocks from people and situation that you have had in past lifetime ladies and gentlemen I want to say to you namaste I'm wishing and hoping a wonderful month for you namaste until next month